Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Something quintessentially British here today, so bust out the cucumber sandwiches, the rich tea biscuits, and don't forget the scones. That's right, I said scones. It's a 50-50 crowd, sue me. We've been in contact with Paula from Bespoke Conversions, who transform trailers, horse boxes, and worn-out caravans into something significantly more special. Each of these wagons go through a complete makeover from top to bottom, giving them a new lease of life, and quite often, a brand new business. Today's project features just that, a private commission for a company in a conversion that's been in the back of a couple of people's minds now for a few years. Now owned by Maria and Vicky, who are starting up the travelling teapot, poor old Betsy, the 1974 Fisher Holivan Caravan, well let's just say the old gal is in need of a little sprucing up. The caravan, certainly not the ladies. Inspired by some previous concepts of caravan teapots, we're all systems go here to work with bespoke conversions on the external spout and handle elements. For those uncultured riffraff of you who frankly don't own a teapot, and that's for hot tea, with milk of course, this is going to be a gloss smooth finish to replicate the porcelain china that these are usually made from. Starting off with large pieces of polystyrene, we've hot wire cut the peripheral shapes of the handle and spout from the image that the clients provided. Aidan's now going to start working down the shape with nail brushes, wire brushes and then sandpapers to help lose that bobbly polystyrene texture. You'll have to excuse me for a few minutes, I'm just making a cheeky brew. When the carving's complete, we send off a couple of photographs to the client to make any changes during the polystyrene stage, and upon approval, we go on with our secretly sourced sticky back tin foil. Once again, for any inquiries about our foil, our email is in the YouTube description below, you know, just in case you feel curious. The foil creates a protective barrier between the foam and the resin going on top, by which we're going on with multiple layers of glass fibre. This is just going to be a blanket coat as opposed to a mould, as this is literally a one-off production. We're going to be working up the surface with flow coats of resin and car body fillers, so ideally it's best to get the fiberglass as smooth and neat as we possibly can at this stage. In order to fix this to either end of Betsy the caravan, we're creating exterior flanges with bolt holes for easy installation. We've casually breezed over many hours of sanding, filling, and working down to finer and finer grades of paper, to the point where this is ready for a prime layer of paint. Oh yeah, look at that. Every time we prime, it gives us a chance to see the stage we're currently at, and see if we need to repeat the process again and sand down any more. But I have a feeling, judging by the paintwork here by Jess, we're ready for a top coat. We're going to give this a white base so that the client can go on with their own top coat colour of their own choosing. You may have seen a hole being drilled through the centre of the polystyrene spout earlier. And that's just so the clients have the option of installing a little smoke or vapour machine for some steam coming out of the top. It's now time for Betsy to have her makeover session and don't look, she's shy. Both inside and out, there's been some absolutely fantastic work undertaken by Bespoke Conversions and their crew. After seeing some of their previous renovations from earlier, well, we knew we wouldn't be disappointed, and we really doubt the client will be either. 
The Travelling Teapot, for all of your tea, coffee and hot chocolate beverage needs, can be found on Instagram, so you might be able to find out where it's travelling to next. We'd like to thank our client Paula from Bespoke Conversions for finding us, and our client's clients Vicky and Maria. We really hope you're happy with Betsy and her new lease of life. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true diehard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. Many thanks to all of our existing patrons, your support really does mean a lot. All of our support contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.